All right, here we are in Photoshop, and we're going to be making the picture for the dial of the safe lock. So, starting with a 1000 by 1000 canvas, and I'm just, just going to draw out a line, pretty much just fill in a rectangle with black on a new layer, of course, and then using those controls at the top, I've centered it up. Now, to make this into a big array of lines, we're going to create a new action called Dupe Lines. And I'm recording the action now, so I am duplicating the layer, rotating by 3.6 degrees, and you can do that by pushing Control T. And I'm going to do that twice, then stop the action, and now whenever I play the action, it's going to make two new lines each time. So i got to play this action, you know, about 15 times or something, and it's going to make my array. Then we're going to work on deleting the middle of these lines, so it leaves basically just the little ticks for the dial. So to do that, we're going to group them into two separate groups, one for the big ticks and one for the small ticks. So... Uh, at the moment I'm just deleting one layer because it was duplicated, the very middle one. Right, so now I'm going to take all the, you know, each fifth line and hide it. So what we can do then is group all the visible layers. So that's that's something I use a lot in Photoshop. I think the shortcut is Control shift e and whichever layers you have visible at the time are all flattened into one layer. So I'm going to do that right now and rename the layer it creates. Alright, there it is. And so if I show all the remaining layers, we have each fifth one. So select one of those again, Control shift e and there we have it. All the ticks separated out into our two layers. So now to delete all the middle section of each. So to do that we're going to create two big circles. Hold down shift to make a perfect circle. And one is going to be slightly bigger than the other. So keep them on separate layers. And again centering it up. Centering is um, pretty simple. You just push M then control A to make a selection of the entire canvas then V for the move tool and it's just those two little controls at the top that will center it up just like I did there so now with our two circle layers I'm just going to hit control and click on the thumbnail in the layers palette and that makes a selection of the circle you can then hide those layers and go to our text layers and hit delete and then I'm going to make a selection of the other circle, the smaller one, and hit delete on the big layer. So we're left with that. Perfect. Now we just need to make the numbers on the dial. So to do that, I am drawing out and centering a circle auto shape. And we're going to use the auto shape as a guide for text. So as you move the text tool to the edge of the auto shape, you can see the cursor changes. And that means as you type, it's going to go around the circle, just like that. And so now all we need to do is play with the text size and spacing, that sort of thing, until all the numbers line up right where we want them. So that just takes a minute of tweaking, basically. You just try different sizes. And um, to rotate the text, just select and push Control T again. And then you can hold Shift, I think, to make it snap to perfect increments. So I've got it almost right at this point. I just need the zero to line up at the very top and I'm just rotating again and now just with a little bit of spacing and a little trick I use is if you need a small space just make add an extra space and then select that space and actually take the font size down so I'm going to do that here and just make that space like a 10 point and it just makes it a small space so that's about it now we can use this image uh, 
for rendering.